Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and today it's going to be the Phoebus Voyager. The Voyager has been out for a while, I would say at least five or six weeks at this point. I did order them roughly five weeks ago, and let's just say they have been on a voyage to get from the other part of the world, the other side of the world, to this side of the world. It's been exciting, um, <laughs> but finally they arrived, so it took a little while, but they're here. Anyway. I'm going to cover those today, five of them, really beautiful dials, and that's what sets these apart. And the fact that they went with um, dual-time bezels, I think that was uh, a bold choice, knowing what I know now about you guys and your dual-time bezels. I'm also going to show you two really quick uh, Phoebus restocks, uh, their Quartz Sky and one of the Wave Masters, just to show you that we have them. Uh, I am sporting the Dad's Datejust, and I felt like Going back to my Squale 1521, uh, the polished blue, and I had added that uh, sapphire blue insert. It really makes it pop. Uh, it really makes it glow extremely well. Let's see what Phoebus has cracked up for you. So before we dive, haha, dive into the main attraction, just two quick notes. The quartz divers in the black and the blue are back in stock, in my opinion, for 119 bucks. Uh, they're I don't think there is a better quartz diver out there. Solid link bracelet, solid end links, sapphire crystal, um, excellent registration on the seconds hand to the indices. If you can't see it, it's because I'm holding the watch crooked. Uh, decent loom, nice clasp, everything about it, you know. The only thing you could ask for a little bit more is a ceramic bezel. It's, a, it's aluminum insert, but other than that, for $119 tough to beat this one and then the wave master is back um, both with date like this one the py 010 that uh, one i just showed you was px 002 this is py 010 there's also py 009 with date without date or the, the only difference is it is an automatic it's a beautiful 300 meter diver is it going whoops not going there we go uh beautiful 300 meter diver screw down crown just like the other guy was but Really heavy duty, very nice, beautiful bracelet. So just a quick commercial for those guys. So I'll reach behind me here. I have them all in order. So these are all the Voyagers. And the Voyagers, common feature on all of them is are these breathtaking dials and pretty cool uh, bezel inserts, dual-time bezel inserts. Is a, they're PY026. There's A, B, C, D, and E. They only differ in the in the color, uh, the colorway of the watch. Uh, so let's see. So Phoebus Voyager 300 meter automatic dive watch is 40 millimeters in diameter. It's 14 thick to a slightly domed AR sapphire crystal. Very nice. Uh, it's 46 millimeters on the lug tip to lug tip. Is a 20 millimeter lug. Is a solid end link bracelet, solid link bracelet. Uh, looks like it is held together with standard friction pins. Logo clasp, relatively simple, just a fold over. It is milled, um, but there's no uh, there's no security clasp for it. I'm not I'm not there's no diver's extension. I'm not totally gaga over the clasp, but and the bracelet itself is eh, it's, let's just say it's interesting. It's got a little polished center. Oops, there we go. I got a little bit off. Uh, polished center and brushed on the outside. Uh, but let's um let's get the plastic off my glove. There we go. Uh, powered by a Seiko NH35 movement, which just like the movement in, in uh, you know your NH your 4R36 that's in your Seiko divers and stuff. Hand winds, hacks. Uh, only difference is this is date only, no day. 40 hours of power reserve. 24 joules, I believe, or maybe one less because there's no day. Nonetheless, hand winds. Hacks, seconds hand stops, change the time, one click out, I can change the date. Uh, screw it back down for the uh, full water resistance of 300 meters. Beautiful, unidirectional, 120 click bezel. It's a dual time bezel, so I'm not sure that 120 click is extremely important, but still has very nice action. Uh, coin edge bezel with, check it out, at the, at the hours, which is really interesting. Um, it's kind of a wider, like a wider nib. Interesting how they did that. It, you know, kind of makes the watch it's just different. 
So you can tell they designed the bezel to be used in conjunction with this sort of an insert. Uh, loom pip here, there is a super loom on the dial and the hands. Let's see, uh, nice case back. They do a beautiful engraving on the back. Water resistant, 1,000 feet, 300 meters, sapphire crystal, Phoebus automatic. Um, okay, so this is, well, let's come in on dial a little more. This is PYO 26A. Like I said, the dials on these is what's gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh, they're all the same price, 269 that occurred to me, I don't think I gave you the price of the Wave Master, that back in stock black model. I think that was two fifty nine. But anyway, two sixty nine for this beautiful green dial guy. And then so this was A. And then B is ta -da, probably one of my favorites, right? The blue dial with still sport and silver hands, applied indices. Interesting hands, right? A little bit different, kind of a sword style on the hour, more of a baton on the minute. Pip on the correct side of the seconds hand, the, the, the lollipop, excuse me. Date window is framed nice and silver. Everything else about the watch the same. So this is the PYO 26B blue dial. Like I said, I'm trying to keep them all in order, so I'm kind of reaching behind me. And now we have C, which is, I think, and I apologize because I might have messed them up already. Uh, no, not this one. This is the very, very dark gray. No, this is the black dial. <laughs> So this is like the black dial, the PYO 26C. And so it is a sunburst black, because there is a dark gray coming up at the end, or a silverish gray. You could almost call this charcoal. But I, I think maybe what they were going for is black. Okay, let's move back just a little bit. So this is the PYO 26C, PYO 26D, beautiful. Uh, what do you guys call this? Brown? Copper? Somewhere in the middle? Really nice. The writing on the bottom looks so, yeah, just a tad bit out of place. The Automatic 300 right there. Not really balanced, I don't think, very well with the top, but I really can't complain. They make an amazing watch for the money. Like I said, these dials, these dials are simply amazing. And the Voyager, you know, travel, so great to have a dual time bezel. I've shown you how dual time bezels work in case you want another lesson on it. Uh, you would set the number of hours ahead or behind uh, to the 12. So right now, I guess we'll just keep it simple. Let's set the time at 9, like it's 9 o'clock where I am. Okay, so it's 9 o'clock. So one time zone over to the east. Advanced one hour is 10 o'clock. I don't read the 9, I read the 10 right here. Again, my favorite is to do... London, you know, the true GMT. So in London, it is 2 o'clock. Again, we have to know if it's a.m. or p.m., but we can usually look that, do that by looking out the window, um, unless you're in a casino. Then there are no windows. Uh, and no clocks. So it doesn't matter. And then the last one, the O26E. This is the silver dial. Um, I do want to just compare and contrast this quickly to the... This is the E. This is the C I showed you before. Definitely a lighter color. Uh, more of a silverish, very nice, striking, catches the light very well. Um, the dial almost gets lost a little bit in the finish of the bezel and the watch and stuff. Kind of matches really well. Uh, maybe you like that, maybe you don't like that. Where the bezel is relieved, it's kind of a rough finish. Um, I don't know what you could say. It's got texture to it. Uh, it almost looks like, you know, like those RMS plates if you're a machinist to gauge uh, surface with a surface roughness. Maybe this is a 120 or a 200 or something. I don't know. You machinists will crap. I haven't, I haven't done metallurgy stuff in a number of years, so my my uh, my gauge is off in my head, uh, but still really nice looking. Let's um let's flip out the lights and uh, see what the glow looks like. We know it's going to glow well because it's a Phoebus. So it is sporting a BGW9, which is why it appears blue. Um, the pip looks great as well. Easy to read, easy to tell the time, just as we would expect uh, from the brand. Let's try on, uh, let's see, this is the B, 26 b the blue one. Really nice. Fits me well, 40 millimeters in diameter. Of course, guys, is a beautiful size. Very nice. Um, a lot of divers are 42, a lot of divers are 38. I know there's a clamoring of people asking for 40, so this this guy will hit right in the sweet spot. 46 on the tip to tip, obviously not too large. 
And uh, again, that dial is just something to behold. And that will wrap it up. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you the new Phoebus Voyager. Please like the video if you enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Questions or comments, put them down below. And I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.